الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله One of the most beautiful adhkar ways of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes in the hadith of Jawairira radiallahu ta'ala anha she reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left her early in the morning when he went to go pray Fajr. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left her in her prayer area. Then went back after dawn and found her still sitting in the same position. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to her, are you still doing the same thing that I left, that I left you, while you, uh, that you were doing before? She said, yes. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I said four words three times after leaving you. If they were to be weighed against what you have done today, it would have, out, it would have outweighed it. They are, subhanAllah, glorified is Allah. Alhamdulillah, and praises His, as many creations He has, as, as many creations that He has, in accordance to what pleases Him, equal to the weight of His throne and the amount of His words. This is in Sahih Muslim. Ahabat Billah, this shows us the virtue of Tawheed, and dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This hadith also shows us that from the minhaj of the Salaf al-Salih, Ridwan Allahi alayhim, beginning with the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, is that they would designate a place in their homes for praying their nawafil or their sunnah prayers and for making dhikr and reading the Qur'an, they would have a special area that they denoted for that. So especially for the women, because they pray, have the tendency to pray in their homes, they should have a designated place that's nice and clean and designated for that, for that ibadah. This supplication also shows us the importance of subhanAllah and alhamdulillah and that they weigh heavy on the scale of the mu'min. So ahabati billah, this is imperative that we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala ilm wa fiqh wa basira wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam